welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So recently my sister and I went to a bar class, specifically Pure Bar, and I just want to share with y'all that experience. So let's just jump right into it. Hey y'all. So today I'm going to be trying out the Pure Bar and I've never done a actual bar class. So we're all in this adventure together and let's just see how it goes. Okay, this is the whole fit, just some leggings. Okay, the socks, apparently I have to get grippy socks, but like I'll get them from the location, but just like some normal leggings, a cute little like cropped tank top thing. And then I know a hat's like not the vibe, but like I've got little hair things that like prevent me from like actually doing workouts because it get in my eyes, so. So we'll see if the hat's an issue. We're just gonna have to figure that out. So before we get into what pure bar is, I wanted to read y'all a definition of what bar is as a physical activity. So bar is a form of physical exercise usually conducted in a group class or in a gym or in specialty studios like pure bar. It is distinguished from other group fitness activities by its use of the ballet bar, which is where it gets the name bar. It's like the, the traditional wooden bar that you see when people will do ballet in movies, TV shows, etc. And it is incorporation the movements derived from ballet. So that is the technical definition off of Wikipedia of bar. So as I mentioned in that definition, bar can be performed at specialty studios. And one of those specialty studios is Pure Bar. Okay, so you might be thinking, what is Pure Bar? Well, on their website, Pure Bar defines itself as a total body bar workout that transforms you physically and mentally through focusing on low impact and high intensity movements that strengthen and tone your body in 50 minutes or less. I'm just eating before I go. I'm kind of nervous. I don't know what to expect, what the vibes are gonna be like. Okay, so I'm here in the parking lot. I think that it the way that we're supposed to check in is that we texted them. This is the the like free beginning class to see if you like it. Specifically, I'm going with my sister because she wants to see if she likes it. Um, but it was like really communicative. They were really good at texting. Um, but we're supposed to get here 10 to 15 minutes early. The class begins at 11. I'm here a little early just to kind of orient ourselves and see what the, the studio looks like. But I mean, We'll see, I mean, have to get grippy socks. I'll see if I have to pay for those, but yeah. And as I mentioned, we were doing the foundations free 50 minute class. And so that's what we were initially doing. It's supposedly a slower, more introductory version of the pure bar class. And I say supposedly because uh, we were really zipping through each move because they were just trying to show us everything. But let's start at the beginning. So the studio itself was really cute. Uh, you walk in and there's the space for lockers and changing rooms. There's also a space that's dedicated to apparel and the store. And so like this took up about half of the lobby, which was kind of an interesting choice. And this dedication to shopping felt like it maybe was an indication of the focus of Pure Bar, but we'll get into that later. So beyond the lobby was the exercise room. This was a normal exercise room with an open space for the floor with mirrors and the infamous ballet bar at around the room. So around the perimeter, there was a ballet bar. Uh, there was also a space for equipment like the weights, mats, balls, and rings or tubes is what they call them. So I don't know if this is common for every location, but there was only one room for the workout. And it's not like it was a problem, but it was just kind of an observation I made that there was only only one room and that the other locations may have multiple areas so that might be something to consider so I was unable to record in the studio for people's privacies and whatnot so instead what we're gonna do is have dramatic recreations and by that I just mean 
pictures of me photoshopped in front of different pure bar stuff. So like I said, you initially just walk into the studio and they encourage you to buy grippy socks. And these grippy socks are specifically made for Pilates. And so me and my sister, we didn't buy these socks. Uh, they said you are completely fine without them. However, it makes it easier to grip and to actually do some of the movements. But after that, you put your shoes away and then you enter in the studio, which was nice because everyone was on the same page. So the class begins with a warm up and let me just tell you, I knew I'd messed up from the moment the warm up started. The whole point is to move to the beat. And although they say that this is a foundations class and it's supposed to be slow paced, I did not experience that slow pace. Uh, you are taught some of the lingo before, some of the basic words uh, before the class begins, but I felt like I was still thrown into the deep end and did not understand what I was doing. There were a lot of movements and then there were extended periods of ab work and this these ab work things had me shaking so bad. I, I know that they say that the point is for your muscles to reach a fatigue point, but I was really shaking. So after the warm up, we did arms, which also hurt so much. We used tiny little weights and made small movements with these light weights to target specific small muscles. Some of the things we did were like all around the world, arm pulses, and just everything made my arms shake. And then from there, we got up to the bar, which was cool, but it was also just like small, quick movements that were barely perceptible. And multiple times, I had to look back at the instructor to see if I, the instructor was even moving, which... On the note of this uh, instructors, something I will say is that the instructors were very good at coming around to help, which was definitely a plus for all of us who were literally shaking and not knowing what to do. And then during the bar sections, we used a ball that I just added to the level of intensity that felt on your legs, your glutes, everything, hamstrings. Oh, I felt like they were going to burst. But after we did that, we did some more ab work and then stretched it out, which if anything, I really did enjoy the stretching. So now that we described the whole entire experience at Pure Bar, and I gave my initial thoughts afterwards, immediately after the class. Okay, so some initial thoughts just off the dome is that <laughs> it was not for me. It's for someone, you know, don't want to yuck someone else's yum. But I think it was just like not a good enough workout for what I usually do. It was very like small, tiny little muscle movements, which is great and some people really love that, but I just wasn't a huge fan. And so I think that I will probably not go back, but I can see it being a really good workout, but I'll have to collect my thoughts. And just right now I'm just a little overwhelmed. It like really kind of hurt. Um, so yeah, that's just some initial thoughts. I just wanted to come on here and explain a little bit in more detail what I thought about the class. So the class was difficult. Um, I think that that's apparent. I was really not expecting it. It's like when you do a lot of exercise, you think you're good at everything. It's like hubris, you think you're good. And then you do something outside of the, the realm of exercise you're used to. And it's all of a sudden like you've never exercised before in your life. So this was like focusing on muscle groups that I usually don't focus on, like tiny little movements, small little muscle groups. And to be frank, I hated it. <laughs> um, not hated. I just, it wasn't for me. And I know that. And I think that the space, although they were trying to make it as comfortable as possible, I think looking around and seeing who was actively participating in bar kind of discouraged me from wanting to go back. It didn't seem like it was very size inclusive. Uh, that was just some things that I made note of. It could possibly be very science inclusive. It just seems to me that there is a bit of lack of representation of people of all sizes. And that's really important to me. I like working out when you feel strong and everyone can feel strong, um, regardless of like your body shape and things like that. So I would just say that it may make people uncomfortable. It seems to be a great workout for minor muscle growth, but to me, I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for feeling strong and feeling confident coming out of my workouts and feeling like I got a really good workout. Um, so I wanted to say something more about the size inclusivity, but I wanted to look it up and see if people have experienced or expressed the same opinions. And online, I've seen forums of people saying that they feel like it can be a bit homogeneous, like there's people of the exact same size or they feel a little uncomfortable or out of place. But there is some con encouraging stuff on the line about 
um, inclusivity in bar and how people have felt really welcomed in the community. So all of that to say that I think that maybe a part of it is self-imposed and feeling a little uncomfortable in a space that maybe you're unused to and just kind of getting over that and trying to work through those emotions is a really important part and something that I had to do for myself. So just letting everybody know that that might be something you encounter when you first get into bar, but overall it seems like it's a very accepting community from everything I've seen online. So don't let that deter you. But finally, just in terms of pricing, I think that it's kind of comparable to what I do at Orange Theory or that you'll do at a specialty place. I don't think it's anything excessive, but I would say that I feel like it depends on what you're looking for because it's like if you're looking for a more intense workout then this might not be it but if you're looking to strengthen and tone in small ways and you might not be a big fan of cardio but you want something more than yoga this might be something to look into and I think it's awesome that they have these like foundation 50 minute free classes to see if it's for you because that's really cool I love when gyms especially specialty gyms that know you might spend a lot of money there do this as like hey an, a moose bouche an appetizer see if you like it and then consider joining so those are my thoughts so that's all the thoughts I have for you today that's my experiences with bar I don't think I'm gonna continue my sister said she definitely won't so that's just not our preference of what we like in our workouts so I would just say if you can maybe sign up for it and if you've tried it before please let me know what you think if you go and you sign up and you do it also let me know what you think I'm dying to hear what other people have to say but that is all I have for you today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.